If you have come here, then it is evident that you would have faced some kind of discrimination at the hands of the recruiter in the past. If you are a recruiter, then I am so glad this shows that you want to learn and avoid these mistakes. Recruiters must utilize very well drafted interview questions to check if the candidate's skills match with the job role or not. Recruiters should prepare as much to take interview as candidates to give interviews. In this training, I am not only going to discuss some stupid and insulting questions that the recruiters need to stop asking, but also give you alternatives as to what can be asked instead. What was the most stupid or insulting question that you have been asked by a recruiter? Comment below and let me know. Your experience and insights are valuable to this community. Before diving in, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be informed whenever such awesome videos are published from this channel. Give this video a like if you're excited about identifying these red flags of a potential employer. Hello, I'm Madhurima, India's first 10x corporate readiness transformer. I have trained over 10,000 professionals, helping them skyrocket their career growth. Question number one that the recruiters need to stop asking. Where do you see yourself in five years? What if the candidate turns back and asks you the question? Do you know what you are going to do in the next five years? People do not know what they are going to do in the next six months, let alone be five years. This does not mean that they are unfit for the role or they do not have a career path. Let's embrace flexibility and celebrate diverse career journeys. Recruiters ask this classic question in order to gauge the candidate's commitment and ambition. However, not everyone has a clear roadmap of five years. Here is what you can ask instead. What professional goals and projects are you most excited about to work on in the near future? If you are serious about your career and need help with resume writing, with reference to the header, profile summary, work experience and other sections, then I share all of this in the Breakthrough Resume course. This is a one hour recorded training that you can take at your preferred time and pace. You can access this course from the link given in the description box below. Question number two, why do you want to join this company? Unless and until you're hiring a CEO, then this question is absurd. People just want a job, you have an opening, that's it. It is essential to shift the focus to what the company can offer the candidate. Highlight the company's unique opportunities, culture and values. Let the candidate express how their skills align with the company's mission. Let's create a two-way conversation and emphasize on mutual benefits. The hiring managers want to understand the candidate's motivation and if they have done enough research on the company. However, it can be very generic. Here is an alternative question. What specific aspects of our company's values and culture align with your professional goals? Question number three, are you married or what is your marital status? Female candidates are generally the victims of this question. Marital status should never be the determining factor for hiring decisions. Asking this question is not only invasive, but also potentially discriminatory. Some interviewers believe that this question will give them the answer of candidate stability and potential time off. However, it is not at all related to job performance. Here is an alternate question. Can you share your experience where your personal life positively influenced your professional life? Question number four, when do you plan to get married? Now, like the previous one, this question is also personally invasive and not at all related to the candidate's ability to perform a job. This is again a question targeted at female employees. Marriage plans are personal and have no impact on the candidate's qualifications and their commitment for their work. It's time to eliminate this question altogether. Here is an alternate question. How do you manage work-life balance, especially during major life events? Question five, when are you planning to have a baby or who would take care of your baby when you come to work? Again, a candidate's choice to start a family is absolutely personal and it is very invasive of recruiters who ask this question. This should never be a factor in hiring decisions. This question is not only discriminatory, but can also perpetuate gender biases. Again, who looks after the baby is not our business. Concerns about family-related disruptions could be the reason why recruiters ask this question, but they invade personal boundaries. Here is an alternate question. Can you share how you have managed 
your personal responsibilities along with professional commitments in the past. Creating an inclusive workplace means that we are recognizing that our employees have diverse circumstances and choices. As recruiters, it is our responsibility to foster inclusive, respectful and fair interview process. Now, if you are serious about your career and are ready for your job search process and need help with resume writing, then grab your Breakthrough Resume course linked below. Again, this is a one hour recorded training that you can take at your preferred time and pace. You can access this course from the link given in the description box below. So far in this training, we have discussed five stupid or insulting interview questions that recruiters need to stop asking. Instead of asking these questions, use the alternative questions that I have shared with you. Please subscribe for more such awesome videos in the future. Share this video with a friend who could benefit from these tips. I wish you all the best for your career and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.